Hey everyone, I hope you all had a great week. My name is Donna Vinson. I'm a nutrition coach for people and pets. I'm here to help you achieve better health through nutrition. Today I'll be talking about Lyme disease and gut health. Before we get into gut health, I want to go into a little bit about Lyme disease, some of the history. And the warm weather is here, so it's time to start being more aware of ticks. Where I live, we have a big tick problem, and as careful as we are, we still pull ticks off of our dogs and sometimes us. Lyme disease has been around for thousands of years. A recent autopsy was done on a 5,300-year-old mummy, and they found the presence of the bacteria that causes Lyme in this mummy. But it wasn't until the 1970s, thanks to two mothers in Lyme, Connecticut, where where it got its name, who became patient advocates because a group of children and adults were coming down with debilitating health issues, It was going untreated because it was going undiagnosed because they didn't know what it was. The two mothers got together. They started researching, contacting scientists, and taking notes. They got with the medical establishment who started studying the information that these mothers were gathering, and the one common thread was that all the people remembered being bit by a tick. And that's when Lyme disease got its name, because of Lyme, Connecticut, and these two mothers. So if we fast forward to today, it's now an epidemic, but diagnostic tools are still unreliable. People have to beg their doctors to test them for Lyme. They're going undiagnosed for years, or they're misdiagnosed. For example, I'm in a group, and so many people have been diagnosed with MS, Later, they find out it's actually Lyme disease after they've been taking drugs for MS for years, and it's not even MS. Lyme disease is one of the fastest-growing vector-borne infections in the United States, and the CDC estimates over 329,000, that's 329,000, new cases of Lyme each year. Scary number with the warm weather coming. When it comes to gut health, What they're finding and what has been found is that many of the people who develop Lyme also have poor gut health. We talk a lot about gut health now. 80% of your immune system is in your gut. And why they're connecting the two is because if your gut isn't healthy, you're less likely able to fight infections. And poor gut health can come just from the standard American diet antibiotics, other drugs, stress, environmental, highly processed foods, a lot of sugar. So there's a lot of factors that go into whether your gut is healthy or not. And it's getting more and more difficult to keep our guts healthy because our food source is so bad. But that's a whole different topic. There are things that you can do to strengthen your gut, to restore your gut health, which will help strengthen your immune system. First recommendation is to start taking a probiotic. When it comes to probiotics, they are measured in CFUs, colony forming units. Many people think the higher the CFUs, the better the probiotic, but that's not the case. If something is 100 billion CFUs, but it doesn't survive your stomach acid, so it gets into your intestines, it's not doing you any good, so it doesn't matter how high those CFUs are. But if you have a probiotic that's, say, 10 billion CFUs, but it's been tested that it does survive the stomach acid, gets into the intestines where it needs to be, you'll be getting more the benefit of the probiotic that you need to get to start restoring your gut health, which will start strengthening strengthening your immune system. And then you want to start looking at your diet. If you want to know the probiotic that I use and recommend, reach out to me. I know it's been tested. Nutrition-wise, you want to start eliminating all the sugar, the highly processed foods. So that's the next step into Restoring gut health and strengthening your immune system. That will be, I'll talk about that in a future video. So number one, to start your recovery, probiotics, work on your gut. 80% of your immune system is in your gut. 
Any questions or comments, post them below. Please share this with others if you got benefit from it or you know they can benefit from this. Again, if you want to know what probiotic I'm using, reach out to me. I hope you all have a great day. Warm weather is coming. Be prepared. It's time to start checking again for ticks, sadly, and I'm always checking my dogs for ticks. I'll talk to you all again soon. Have a great day. My name again is Donna Vincent, nutrition coach for both people and pets. I'll talk to you all again soon.